that we're currently in is for people to retail 15 products over this week. And of course, we have that list. And of course, that list becomes important last week. And it becomes even more important tonight because last week we dealt with prospecting. Hmm? Um, forgive me for not having my camera on. Let me get that on right now. Yes. Last week we dealt with prospecting, right? How to prospect um, affiliates and um, prospect, how to prospect customers and future business partners effectively, right? We learned those strategies um, through. The, the knowledge and the wisdom and the research of Mr. Eric Worm utilize his five steps to unlimited, um, you know, prospects. But of course, this week we want to look at how you invite these prospects. Know that you have them. You have your list of 250 people. Let me see the hands up those in the chat who would have completed your, your list and you have your 250 people available for us to discuss this evening. You have your 250 people are close to it. If you have more than 100 um, people, let me see you just drop the number seven in the chat. You have your list and you documented 100 or more people. Just drop your list, just drop the number seven in the chat um, so that we can laud you. All right, Carlene Sharp, I am, listen, Carlene, I, I, I love you. Clinton Daly, my love is growing stronger for you each and every day. Yes, come on, who else is here? That with their seven, with their, two, with their 100 and more people are close to 250. Anybody has that? Come on, affiliates. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gloria, I love that. I love that. I love that, Gloria. Abraham, sounds like a plan. Don Rogers, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. Listen, we can't function without this list, Stacey. Cheryl, we cannot function without this list, right? I'm happy that you understand the imperative of this particular list. And, and so, therefore, how we can now move into into inviting the people. Um, Ivan, you're, Ivan Sherwood, happy to, 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 to know that you you are you are taking this challenge and you take it seriously. You know, ladies and just and gentlemen, this morning on our morning huddle, we looked at goals, right? And I shared that um, that 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 I, I recorded it and I shared it in the groups, and I'm and I'm hoping that persons would have um, really looked into. The session this morning and see the value in it because you see writing your goals is very very important right writing down the goals knowing what you want and writing it down and following those six steps as outlined by mr napoleon is very very important and i'm telling you there are people here that are going to apply this principle to their daily routine yes over the lifetime of them being in peter Lindner. and they're going to have their testimonies all because of you who just simply writing down that goal that you have and applying the rest of those steps to it. Mark my word tonight. If you follow that, I can tell you that success will not only be your birthright in words, but you will live to testify that success is indeed your birthright because you are experiencing success. So happy to see all the persons who have documented the names, yes, the names of those names, it's important to write. I'm telling you, it's important, ladies and gentlemen, um, to write the things down. Don't just speak them. Don't just hope for them. But write the names down. I, I know that you know 250 people. I, I know that you know 250 people. And more, ladies and gentlemen. And so um, this evening, we're going to teach you how to invite these people. Now, I want to say to us this evening that Two things are available to us. Two things are available to us. The choice is yours, right? Two things are available to us, and the choice is yours. Number one, you can use this list for your launch call. Hmm? You can use this list for your launch call. You can you can you can decide that look, um, we are two weeks into the challenge so far, um, between now and the rest of the of the month. You're going to choose whether a Saturday, you're going to choose whether a Sunday afternoon. Those days, you know, um, are primarily free um, evenings, yes? So you can choose one of the two evenings. And you have your launch call, yes? Um, your launch call, I am, I, um, Aisha is, 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 is the queen of these things. She, she knows these things inside out. Um, so if you need um, support with your launch call, then you reach out to the queen, Aisha. 
and she'll be more than happy to guide you in that regard. Um, how I do launch calls, and I've had some success with them, is that I ask the affiliate to invite his or her friends, all the people that are on that list, you invite that person, those persons to the, to the call, to say that, hey, you're launching a business. You're a business person, and you know, launching a brand new business, and you'd like for them to take a look at your business, right? And then, on that call, when we get there, you, of course, you're going to have a presenter, you're going to have a few testimonies, and you are going to speak, right? So you open the call by telling the people, hey, listen, I invited you here because of X, Y, Z. And then you introduce the presenter. This presenter now is going to speak primarily about the products and very little about the opportunity, if any at all about the opportunity, but more so about the products because you started a business. So you're selling products. You get what I'm saying? So we emphasize the products during the launch call. And having done so, um, people will now say, hey, give me some tea. Give me some Mars. Give me some Venus. My back my feels so good. Give me some Ouch. You know what I mean? That type of thing. So people are going to be requesting products from you. Now, from that, from that, ladies and gentlemen, that is where you now are retailing to uh, business partners. Yes, you are now retailing to recruit. And so when these people are using your products and they see the benefit of it, you say, hey, listen, um, if I give you an opportunity to earn some money through this platform, would you be interested? You know what I mean? At that point in time, have we had the launch call before, right? So the launch call is one aspect of growing your business from this list of 450 people that you are planning to invite, right? So there are some persons here who already said, listen, I'm going to do my launch call. Then number two, what you have are the business opportunity presentations. The business opportunity presentations, that's what you have as your next option to invite the people to the business opportunity presentation, right? And we're going to teach you this evening how about inviting people to whether the launch call or the business opportunity presentation. I'm going to also request of those of us who are here to participate as much as possible. So for example, I may ask somebody, yes, to um, just unmute and to say something. So I want you to pay keen attention to what I'm saying um, in this presentation because it's very, very important for us to assimilate the knowledge, but most importantly for us to make it as practical as possible. So this evening, ladies and gentlemen, I want to um, embark on this training, right, where we are looking specifically and inviting people to our business, to our opportunity. And of course, you know, everybody knows me as as one of those persons who is, they would call call an Eric Worre fanatic, right? So Eric Worre, he has this, this book that he has written. Um, it's called GoPro, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional. And I'm telling you, if you plan to really pass up this, this profession, if you plan to win in this profession, then this is the book that you must have. And if you don't have the book, may I invite you to get on the, your YouTube and just to, when you get to your YouTube, to basically um, look at the videos that Eric has done, you know, on this particular um, subject, um, looking at these um, steps to becoming a network marketing um, professional. Then we're going to look at the step number two. He outlined seven steps. Last week, we spoke about uh, the issue of prospecting. And I'm sure everybody here this evening would have would, would remember vividly what we talked about last week. I'm sure people can talk, several people can type these steps in the chat, right? You know, if I ask you to go to the chat and say, tell me the, seven, the, the, the five steps that we discuss in terms of how you can have unlimited prospects. I'm sure everybody here would be able to say, hey, these are the five steps. But I bet you, I am betting something right now. Who wants to bet me that everybody here can state what those five steps are? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do not let me down. Please go to the chat and to type the five steps that we discussed last week. All right, see here, I tell you, Abraham is saying, look here. Number one, you must have your active candidates list. Number two, you must constantly expand this list. You must add to it daily. 
raise your awareness. You know the field that you're in. You know what you're about. You know what you're looking for. You see the people around you with the skills and the competencies, invite them to look at your business. Don't prejudge people because that is not your responsibility, right? Only God can judge people and prejudge people. You just need to know that everybody you come in contact with is indeed a prospect, right? Or a customer. Um, and of course, network and purpose, they are part of the necessary organizations. And not just, not just, not, it's not just a Abraham thing, you know, all the people here are aware of this. And so therefore, all that is required is just the implementation. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We move now into the inviting um, stage of things, right? So of course, here is that great man, Mr. Eric Bury, um, GoPro, um, these seven steps to becoming a network marketing professional, lastly, we distinguished also between the professional, the poser, and of course, the amateur, and we um, challenge everybody to become professionals in, the, in this particular profession. So quickly, let me just um, state that um, within um, this particular um, business of inviting, um, we have two types of markets that we are looking into for people. You have what is called the cold market, um, which is that market that people that you are just meeting, people you really don't know. You understand? You're just meeting them. You go on the road today, you're on the bus, for example, and you would have met some, you see some people. That's your cold market. All those people on the bus are your cold market people. All the people you are never spoken to on social media, those represent your cold market. But of course, your warm market now are people that you know. You know your mother, you know your father, you know your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, um, your co-workers. Yes, you know, so you know people. These are people that you know, you interact with every day, or um, the people that you know may refer them to you, right? So this constitutes your warm market. So that's the difference between the cold and the warm market. So the scripts that we're going to be discussing this evening, some are catering for the warm market and others are catering for the cold market, right? Um, so here we go now. Mr. Worry would have indicated that, look, in this field of, in this field of network marketing, um, and of course, if you're an insurance agent, you can attest to what Mr. Um, Eric Worry is correctly saying here, um, that look, there are eight steps to professional um, invitation, yes? There are eight steps within this process of inviting people to look at your business, eight steps. This evening, we just want to look at four. And in looking at these four, I'm, this four, this four rather, I'm going to invite people, yes? I'm going to invite people here to do some practical exercise of these four steps. So we leave even here this evening with an appreciation of the discussion. Number one, this gentleman said you are to be in a hurry. Number two, he says that you must compliment prospects. Number three, he says that you must make the invitation. And number four, he said that this, these are the most powerful words in all of network marketing. If I would you. So we're going to look at all of that. Now, step one, according to Mr. Mr. Worry, um, is very important because according to him, that look, if we start every conversation, by giving the impression that we are in a hurry, then we'll find that the invitation will be shorter, right? There will be fewer questions, less resistance, and the people will be more respectful of you and your time, right? Um, prospects will be more intrigued if, if you appear um, to be busy, if you appear as if something is happening for you. So that, that, that aura of being in a hurry of things happening for you. I don't know if some of you, um, you know, are aware, but sometimes you go, for example, you go to the bank and the people there, they're not doing nothing else. Let me tell you something, they're not busy, but they give you the impression that they are the busiest people on God's green earth. So you have this high, you know, like perception of these people. Lawyers, the same thing, medical doctors, you know, they give you that impression that, look, they're not recruiting anybody, you know, but they give you that impression that, look, they're always busy and their time is precious. And you see that man as somebody that you have to make an appointment to see him or her. Are you with me? Are you are you familiar with any such situation with lawyers or doctors or you know any of these um, professionals? Are you familiar? Um, those of you who are educators too, you sometimes do it. But yes, that's the truth. You know, the people tend to have a lot more reverence for you. Like for example, let me tell you. Um, so I go to the gym and I work out. Now, when you go, sometimes you, know, you go there and some people are working out for the entire day, right? But what I have found is that people tend to gravitate towards a little, a little, a little crew that I'm a part of. 
What is it about this crew? Number one, when we get into the gym, we work for one hour or a hour and 30 minutes. And can I tell you, when I talk about working on this and gentlemen, I'm talking about real work. So the eyes of everybody, male and female, is always on that particular little group because we are there for such a short space of time. But we get a lot of work in. You know what I mean? So people tend to, to be a little bit intrigued by people who seem to have things going on for them, people who are who look to be busy. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, at the same time, very, very um, productive. So that is what Mr. Ori is saying, that you must look like and sound like you are in a hurry. You give the people the impression that, look here, you don't, you're not a time waster. You're not here to, to talk for the entire day. Yes, and sometimes you can talk your way into trouble in this thing, right? So he's saying to avoid all of that, to, 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 to make the invitation shorter and to have just few, fewer questions and less resistance, have that aura about you. That, hey, look here, I am in a hurry, I'm moving fast. You understand? And this, this, of course, is applicable to both warm and, of course, your um, cold market, right? So be in a hurry, according to Mr. Mr. Eric Warren, he's giving us some practical examples now of how when you're having that conversation with the gentle people, right, how you can actually go about demonstrating that, look, I am actually in a hurry. So he's saying, look here, number one, Example, I don't have a lot of time to talk in a job, but it was really important that I reach you. Yes, you're your first and foremost, psychologically, you put up an imprint on, on John because you're telling John that you don't have time, is not important. Time is not, you don't have the time right now to really have the full some discussion with him or with him. Yes, but you want him to know that look, um, it is important that you know you reach out to him at this point in time. Right? And we're going to add the rest of it as we go along. Um, I have a million things going on, but I'm glad I caught you. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I'm asking you. These are not these are these are things that people pay millions of dollars um, to learn. And we are giving these things to you free this evening. It's called the memory jogger. Eric Ward would have created this. Right? So I'm asking you to if you can take a picture of it, take a picture of it. But if you can take notes, take notes, right? Because look here, these things are valuable. One, these are things that you use in your literal conversation. So those of you who are who have speech impediment, for those of you who are lacking in confidence, this is what you need to be deposited into your spirit so that you can have the confidence you need to literally have those conversations and to invite the people to your launch call and to the business opportunity presentation. Right? Um, being a hurry, still on that, right? Mr. Worry is saying that, look, um, now isn't the best time to get into this. Furthermore, I have a meeting in five minutes, but, yes, and you're going to see what the but is, because something comes after the but. You know what comes after the but? Here's what comes after the but. You must, you must compliment the prospect. If I'm coming through loud and clear and hearing me, I see like my internet is kind of fluctuating. But if you're hearing me, drop the number seven in the chat. If you are with me, drop the number seven in the con in the in the chat so I can know that I'm 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 still here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, great, 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 great. Right? The gentleman is saying, with all of what you just said a while ago, no, we're moving into a critical stage now, you know. Because you you tell the person that you're in a hurry. But also, while you're in a hurry, it makes sense to add some value to the person's life. Yes, it makes sense for you to affirm this individual. I know you affirm this individual, ladies and gentlemen, is that you compliment the person. You compliment them, compliment them, find something positive to say about them, whether present, past, or even future. You know what I mean? But preferably present. You know, very, very important. The ladies will tell you that if you have a man that can provide the compliments, then 99.9% of the time, he will have a chance at getting a ring on her finger. True or false? Yes, yes, yes. No, sir, good, Rogers. Yeah, man, I know you're good at it. That is why you are the man that you are today, right? Yes, man. So, so, so compliment. Yes, you're not hurry. You tell them that plain and straight. You understand? Listen, I have a million and one things going on here. But it was important that I get in touch with you. You understand? I said, I know you move to the complimentary stage. Or that you're having that compliment for this particular um, 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 prospect. And you can say many things. Yes, number one, 
you have always been so supportive of me. And I appreciate that so much. That's a big compliment. That is a big compliment for, for, for anybody else. You're right. You are one of the most connected people I know. And I've always admired that about you. Yes, you are the most, right, important persons or people in my life. And I really trust your instincts. These are compliments that you are using specifically to really captivate your prospect. Now, these are people that you know. This can be a mother. This can be an aunt. This can be a cousin. Right? This can be um, your, 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 you know, some relative that is that is all, you know, somebody that you want to get into the business, somebody that you think very highly about, that if you get this person into the business, oh my goodness gracious, then it is possible that both of you together can crack the financial code in the network marketing space, right? We continue to look at some more, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask somebody to unmute very soon and to connect the two for me. Yes, to connect the two. I want at least five people to unmute. So make sure you write down the thing that be in a hurry. And now we're looking at the, the, the compliments. I want you to connect the two. Yes, we want you to connect the two and be able to, to repeat them. So we'll uh, discuss that shortly. Right? Here are some more. We get, we get a little bit more here. Uh, is in mind for business. And you can see things other people don't see. That is a huge compliment, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, they're telling people that, look, the mind that you have is sharper than um, John Doe or Mary Jane. Yes, or the average person, right? You have a mind for business, right? I was thinking, who are the sharpest people I know? And I thought uh, of you. And let me tell you something, guys. These things work. They work. They work. In fact, if you don't believe they work, just go to YouTube and you will look at all. You can type in. You can type in. Tanya, I like that is. Yes, these are the things that they learn from Eric Worry and that they are, they are applying to their daily operation. And they are teaching them to their team members. And what you know, success has literally become their bird, right? Right? You are, you are one of the most positive and energetic people I have ever met. You know what I mean? My goodness gracious, trust me, when I saw so, somebody were to tell me that positive and energetic, that those two together, you know, look at it. Mm. My goodness, I would feel really excited just to hear that, right? So you, you, these are the things that you say to people um, to really get them to that point. So ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause right here. Yes, we're going to pause right here. And I'm going to ask two people, well, five people, just to unmute. I don't want to call anybody's name, but just to connect the dot. In terms of the invite, the in, sorry, in terms of the the beta ori and the compliment, just join them together in just one single sentence um, to talk to somebody. Anybody at all? They can just repeat it. Just say it. Anything at all? Anybody? Just raise your hand and let us have that practical exercise um, for anybody at all. If you don't understand, I'll go back over it again. But if you understand, please just don't, let us fight. Don't let us fight today. Just raise your hand nicely. All right, Abraham, say I'm ready. Long time from 1930. Go ahead, sister Abraham. Good. Somebody for the very first well, somebody that you know. And you want them to join you in business. You want them to you want them to come to your launch call. You want them to come to the business opportunity presentation. But you're just doing these two phases now. Let me hear you, sir. Go ahead. All right. So it's with a warm market. So good evening. How are you? It's been yes, sir. so long. So good to have you and so to see you. You know, I'm actually heading out. And I'm in a hurry, you know, but I just had to stop and just say that I'm always glad to see you. You always give me the best information and the best um, recommendation. You always motivate me. So anytime I'm going to do something, I always reach out to you. And trust me, I have something on the line, and I want to tell you about it to get your opinion on it. All right, that sounds very, very good, ladies and gentlemen. Put some fires emojis in the chat for Sir Abraham. I thought that was well done. Right? Um, of course, he also added um, a portion that we did not, which is to simply say good morning, you know, um, the greeting, yes, to the, to the, to the affiliate, or, I mean, to the, cost, to the prospect, which is, impo- which is important, right? Um, anybody else would like to try? Anybody else would like to try? Just raise your hand, man. Don't be shy. Guys, listen, these are things that you have to do. You're going to have to use the information. So why not practice from now? Lady Aisha, oh, yes, you want to give us a try? Come now, tell us how I go on. We know that uh, Mr. Matthias is busy in the night here, 
give us a little, tell us some things there, Aisha. We know you're an expert on this thing. Go ahead, talk to us. Lady Aisha, unmute, man. Come talk to us. Give us a little bit. No, this is strange. Aisha must be busy. Lady Roslyn, take it away. This is not doing something right. Hold on. Lady Roslyn, ask you to unmute. Go ahead. Okay, I say good afternoon, Mr. Williams. It has been a blessing to see you. It has been a long time, even though you have been one of my faithful clients. Even though I am in a hurry, I'm here to compliment you and being such a loyal customer to me. And I'm amazed, and I'm amazed to see that you are such a a business-minded person. I have some things to do, but I would like your input on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who would like to add some, who would like to, 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 to um, comment on what Lady Rastin just said a while ago? Because um, she, used, she used two words that we didn't want her to use. Um, oh. Who would like to comment? I mean, she did very well, right? For first time, I mean, like I said, she's new in the business. She's a newbie. And man, she's doing great things, and we love what she's doing. But anybody would like to comment? She did two things a while ago that she really wasn't supposed to do. Um, can anybody um, comment on those things that she did? But based on what she said, anybody? All right. The two things that she did, Lady Roslyn, that you should not have done is number one, you should, you must not use the word "I'm in a hurry." You understand? You said, I am in a hurry, right? And I would like to compliment you, right? Remember, the, the whole segment is about you being in a hurry. So we wanted to use some other words. Not, the, not that I'm in a hurry, right? But use some other words. And don't say, I want to compliment you. But use the actual the actual statements that you are seeing here. Don't say, I want, I would like to compliment you, right? No, don't, don't want to say, I would like to compliment you, right? Anybody else would like to try Anybody else, please unmute, please unmute, please unmute, please unmute. Come raise your hand. Who is there? Nobody else wants to try. No, man, this is not good. How are we going to learn? How are we going to grow if we're not having the conversation and participating? You know, call upon somebody, you know. Clinton Daly, come. Talk to us, Clinton. Or Charmaine. Let me see. Burns, Clinton Daly, come. Talk to us, Clinton. Are you available in church, sir? Give us a small piece. What is happening out this evening. This is unusual. This is not how it normally go, man. Simon, talk to us, man. You have this thing pat. You've been doing it day and night. Go ahead. <laughs> Hi, good night. All right. Being in the hurry now, all right. Hey, hey, Lady Stacey, what's up? Hope all is well with you, you know. Um, I've been meaning to reach out to you, you know, because guess what? I've been watching you and I see that you are you know, your business minded and I like that about you. You know, I see that you're um you're you're urging for more, you know, you want success, you know. But guess what? Um I have a business opportunity that I would like to introduce to you, you know. I mean, do you think you'll have the time? Or shouldn't I say that? <laughs> you know, um, do you have the time? I will send you a, I will shoot an email and we'll talk later. Alright, alright. Right. I'm gonna let Stacy comment on what you just said a while ago. Stacy, <laughs> please comment on um Lady Simone's um words, what that she just shared a while ago. So she was trying to be not worry, but boy, I'm gonna tell you. Um <laughs> that being not worry was kind of lengthy, but tell us, talk yeah. to us, Simone. I mean Stacy, comment on what Simone just did. Um well, she if she was in a hurry, she'd have been a little, little bit short, shorter than that. A little bit shorter because you're in a hurry. And then you probably don't want to say a business opportunity because, again, mm -hmm. um, you are you don't want to give too much information. So um, what I ha what I was gonna say was, you know, for me, I would I would been like um, I have a million things going on right now, but guess what? Glad I caught up with you today. Um, you know what? I, I need someone to um to find a hold in something that I'm looking at and absolute and um uh, that I'm looking at and absolutely nothing get past you because you know that's the type of person you are. So 
um, I have something I want to run by you and I, you know, go ahead from there. So just be short to the point and make it seem like you're very busy. So not, that, nothing too long. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, Lady, um, Lady Stacey Brooks. Thank you very much for that. So, so yes, Stacey, um, yes, Simone, you don't want to, and you know that you are the type of lady who you want to explain and explain and you want to get that, that message across because as an educator, it, it's in your nature, right? But in the same breath, considering the fact that we want to minimize the, the, um, the comments, number one, number two, we want to minimize the questions that may come along. And we want to also minimize um, the the prospects um, of objecting to what we are proposing to them, right? So you just want to don't be afraid to use the scripts that are that are here. The scripts that are here are very very important. That's how we have them. These are the scripts that we wanted to use. We want to fuse them together and literally use them in the conversation to get the thing that you're trying to achieve. So don't be afraid to use them. Not because we have them on the screen, you're going to try and say, oh, you know what, let me say something else. No, say the actual script. That's why I have to take the picture of them, right? So use the actual script so that you can um, meet your objective, meet your target, because you want to be invited. You want to be in a hurry. Yes, you want to let them, let them know that, look, I have a million and one things going on, but it was important that I reach out to you, specifically you, right? You have an amazing mind for business, and I know you can see things that other people cannot see. You know, as simple as that, right? Or, listen, I was running out through the door, but it was very, very important that I get in touch with a man of your caliber, right? I need someone to find some holes in something I'm looking at um, right now. And absolutely nothing gets past you um, done. So, therefore, I know we can move into stage three. Right, so it's very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. Don't try and don't try and reinvent the wheel. You know what I mean? Thanks, Simone. Don't try and reinvent the wheel. Just use the scripts, right? And so, what you can do now, listen. Here, here's what you can do. Later on, tomorrow, when you go, when you are by yourself, you know, and you have some time, you just write all the stuff and you study them. You write them out. So the be in a hurry section. Right, you write that out, and then you add whichever of the other um, complementary um, scripts that you want to add to it, and you fuse them together. Go right out until you make the invitation. All right, that's where we are now. So let us look at how we invite people now that are in the cold market. Right, people are in the cold market, and we're not leaving them out. Right, these people are very, very important to us, and we want to invite them as well. Right, so for people in the cold market now. Um, or you compliment them, right? You say, look here, um, you are super sharp. Can I ask what you do for a living? So this is somebody that you're meeting and you're having a conversation with them, right? Um, or you heard them having a conversation with somebody, right? Or you see them, for example, on a television program or you would have seen them on social media. And based on your observation of them, you realize that this, this person is articulate, this person is innovative, this person is creative, but also this person is a critical thinker, right? So you are saying to this person that, hey, listen, um, you know, I am I am running out the door. What was very important that I stop just to say a few words, um, you know, to you. You know, I have recognized that you're a super sharp person. Um, can I ask exactly what you do for a living? You know, as simple as that. You want to put it. Don't, don't, don't add anything too, you know, glorious to it. And try to confuse the process. Just so keep it as simple uh, and as concise as possible, right? Um, you have made um, this experience, um, you know, a fantastic experience. You have made this um, this evening a fantastic experience. That's what that one is saying. You have made this evening. So, for example, you're, let's say you're at a restaurant or you're at a hotel, you know what I mean? Or you are at the bank or you are in a law office, wherever you are. You know what I mean? Are you leaving? You're finished your transaction. Are you leaving? You're going to say, hey, listen, um, Mary, um, is that your name? Yes, that's right, Mary. Mary, let me tell you, um, as you can see, I am rushing. I have to catch my, my flight or I have to catch pick up my child at school or whatever it is. But, Mary, it was important. It is very, very important that I say this to you. You have made my stay at this resort uh, extremely majestic, right? And so, therefore... 
right? So now we're going to move to the next stage now, you know, because you're done. You make me feel like, say, boy, look here. What she did while you were at this resort, look here. Nothing can tap that off, right? So this is somebody you're meeting for the first time, somebody who, you know, maybe the person, um, you, you know, is, a, is at a restaurant and the person is serving you some, you know, some meal or you're at the bank and there's a teller, you know what I mean? Or it's a bank manager or it's a, you know what I mean? Those type of people, yes, that's, that's, that's why you have that type of conversation. And then now, Eric Worre said, look here, step two, you're going to make the invitation. You are going to make the invitation. So yes, you have made the experience and enjoy the one, right? Warm market people, people that you know, people who are your family, your friends. Yes, you know them as people that are critical thinkers. You know them as people that them can evaluate things very fast. You made a compliment here. And when you say, I've found something you really need to see. I've found something that you really need to see. So, you're, you're, so number one, you're, 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 you're in a hurry. Number two, you compliment them. And number three, now, you're going to say to this person, I have found something that you really need to see. So when you say that to your brother, or you say that to your cousin, or you say that to your aunt, or you say that to your mother, or whomever it is, you know, whatever the, re- the relationship, or a friend, you know, it makes a difference, right? Uh, I think I have found a way for us to really boost our cash flow. Another phrase that we can use in that invitation process. So yes, I have found a way that we can boost our cash flow, right? Or when you told me, John, that you were serious, um, oh, uh, sorry, were you serious or you were kidding that you wanted to make some extra money, right? When you told me that you were, you know, you were looking for an opportunity to make some money, were you serious or were you basically just joking around, right? And you wait for the answer. You said, great, listen, I have found a way for you to actually make all the money. That you, you know, I talk already. When it comes to Vida, I tell people that, look here, I have an opportunity that you can earn as much money as you can imagine. Yes, you can earn through this opportunity as much money as your mind can imagine. Yes, that's why I reason with people when I'm talking about the, the, the opportunity, right? Or... You could simply say, I am launching a new business and I really want you to take a look at it. Yes, Mary. Honestly, I am really sorry, but I am rushing. Yes, Mary, I know you are somebody that is extremely sharp. I know you are somebody that has a critical mind, right? Listen, Mary, I am launching a new business and I really want you you to take a look at it or I would like you to evaluate it for me to see whether or not that this is something that I should really be getting involved with. You see what I'm saying? When I thought of people who could make an absolute fortune um, with a business I have found, I thought about you. Yes? Are you still looking for a job? Hmm? I have found a way for both of us to start a great business without all the risk. Yes, that's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, are we adding value? Are we adding value this evening? Is this making sense to you? Marie, you say you want to talk. Let me hear what you have to say. Marie Lindsay, go ahead and talk to us. Hi, good night, Sir Christopher. Um, I'm asking you, I'm not following quite well. All right, these invites, are they both for the arts and coal markets? Um, some are for the cold market and some are for the warm market. So the ones for the warm market, you would have seen the difference on the screen. If you look at the screen, you would have seen them. So, for example, the ones that we're, the ones that we're looking remember now, you know, look, look at it again. Hold on. Look at this. So we're making the invitation. Yeah. Look at that. What is that for? This one that is showing now? Yes. This one is for a warm market. Right, cool. What is that one for? This is for the coal market. Still for the warm market. We have not moved us to the coal market. Oh, the same, same warm market. It's still the warm market for this one. All right, then thanks. Right? So, um, so for the people who are here now and would like to try to fuse all three together for an in- invitation, 
Um, so you start with the being a hurry, they start they move to the compliment and they step into the invitation. Who would like to try that? Who would I stay in? Come, let's go. Who would like to fuse all three together? To a warm market client. No, and Chris, what you say, I'm a sooner. <laughs> I am might just stay sick. I right here. All right, go ahead, okay. go ahead. What you say, now? I, um... Okay, so be in a hurry. Um... Uh, run the... Let me use a different one. Going to say be in a hurry? Uh, no, no, I'm saying yep. I'm going to use a different approach. I was trying to find another one. See, I take the pictures because my phone, my, um... Chris, you, 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 like, put me on the spot, but anyway, give me a, give me a second. I don't know if I think I don't think I'm hearing. Go ahead. Yeah, one. Go ahead. Okay, so this is this this um we just um in a hurry. Okay, Lord. So I'm running out the door, you know. But if as, as I was going out the door, you know, I I thought about you, and I really want to run this this um by you. Nah, you said, Chris, I I lost my thought. Hold on. Have you, have you wrote the things down? I have it on my phone, but it's giving me trouble to find them. Because okay. I'm doing more than one thing. I'm making tea at the same time. Forgive me. Okay. Anybody else would like to try? Stacey is having some challenges. Who would like to try? Sir Rogers, are you available? Let's try one. Come get, get, get your thoughts in. And people are scared of this one. Something is wrong. Scared of this one. What type? All right, Roslyn wants to try again. Let's go, Roslyn. Go ahead, Roslyn. Roslyn, go ahead. Ask me to unmute. Rosalind is not coming through at all. What's wrong? And so check one of the question is, are they, is that you are to fuse um, all three of the um, parts that we have done so far. So we have done three parts, three steps in the invitation process. So the invitation has eight, eight stages. We have done three so far, right? So we have done number one, be in a hurry. Number two, make the compliment. And number three, make the invitation. So we have showed you all three of those that you can do for the warm um, market. So now I'm asking you to you know somebody, whether this is a family member or whomever, and you want to know, or a friend, you know, an associate, and you want to know, invite a person to take a look at your business. Use those three aspects and make an invitation from those three aspects without going into anything else. Just the three parts that we have looked at so far. Do that. Go ahead, Roslyn. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Williams. Um, I'm here, not in a hurry, but I'm able to speak with you. I have a million, million, million things to do. And um, I'm Sorry. Keep trying, keep trying. Let's do it again. Let's go. All right. Good evening, Mr. Williams. Um, I'm happy to see you. My thought was on you while um thinking about doing this business. I have you have been amazing mind towards business. So when I thought of of your people who could not make an absolute sure. sorry. Don't worry about it. You'll get it. You'll get it. We'll do it again. And again.
again and again and again. Just keep practicing, man. You'll get it. Don't worry about it. Okay, thanks. Yes. You'll get it. Don't worry about it. You'll, you'll definitely get it. Just keep practicing. Right? I'm going to drop the scripts in the, chat, in, the, in the chat so you can see it and you can have them to practice if you have not your teeth and uh, the pick. All right? Um, somebody said I want to try it, Cassie, but you can't raise her hand. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Hold on a second, Simone. Cassie. Okay, Cassie. Asking it to Andrew. Go ahead, Simone. Hey, hey, Stacey, what's up? I um, hope all is well with you. You know, you're one of the most positive and energetic people I've known, you know, and I'm actually launching a new business opportunity, and I will really launch you to take a look at it. You miss out the, the first one. Which one? Be in a hurry? Yes. So me not sound like me in a hurry. <laughs> not a sound is the word you must use. <laughs> Man, use the, use the actual oh. terms. All right, so we'll come again. You have one more chance. Let's go. Cassie, your time. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while, and I'm so glad that I ran into you. I'm actually on my way to work, so I really can't stay long. But, you know, Chris, um, the other day I saw you doing something really innovative and I was like, oh my God, you have such a creative mind. And you actually popped in my head and I said, you know what? <clears throat> if I were to, to, to tell you that there was a way to increase your cash flow without jeopardizing what you're doing right now, would you be interested? Ah, there you go, there you go, there you go. Even, 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 Made a, a step above what, where we are now because you went to <laughs> I would you. That is excellent. That is good. So that's what we want, Cassie. Um, as simple and as efficient as that. Um, and I said, look here, it's not something that is just going to come like that. These are things that you have to practice. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Cassie. That was well done, right? That's what we want, right? We wanted to use the actual terminologies that are utilized within each area, right? So within each step, use the words, yes? And of course, you can create your own words, but it has to be in sync with what is already there. You get what I'm saying? So great job, Cassie, and that's what we want. And guys, let me tell you something. If you, that you can build your team around um, what we're doing, you're making a sad mistake, right? Because the truth of the matter is, usually when you're starting a business, um, let me use myself as an example. I've said it over and over that I've been in Vida now for just about three and a half years. I started in 2019, September. Yeah, so that's just about three years and there about, right? And let me tell you something, guys. It's just one friend I have in this business that has joined me. Yes. I have I have a total of seven siblings and one of them joined and stopped a week after I'm joined. Right? Um, I have told all my cousins and I believe my family is extremely large. Yes, I have one hundred and thirteen children alone, so you know what I'm talking about. Large family on both sides. And these people look and turn away their faces, right? And there's a reason for that. These people don't know me as a body making the money. They know me as a man over school and go learn and get two degree or whatever it is and I look to do something with that. They don't know me as somebody who has a great well. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't look like, no, they don't know me as that. So all me I tell them about um, come to create well. They don't know interest because they don't know me as a married wealth. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying to you? But the moment realize that I have these, these scripts here. I start to share these. I start to utilize them and share them as they are. Yes, with both cold market and of course, like I said before, the warm market. And I see where success is coming my way because these are the scripts that I would have used to sign the umpteen amount of people that I have signed in Vida de Vida. Yes? Some of them, some of the people are referrals. And when I meet them, boom, I get the script right. Once I get this, once I get the script right, believe me, the people are going to come. They're going to listen to the presentation. And later, 
afterwards, we're going to, we're going to close them. Right? That is my strength. I'm very good at the closing part of things in this business. Right? But the scripts is what would have led to me having that opportunity in the first place. Right? So if you can study, it's not a, we're not saying here, it's not a university degree. We're giving it. Right? So we're not saying that you're studying geology, or you're studying geography, or you're studying science, or you're studying math. No. Just write them down. So for example, be in a hurry. What would I like to use out from, out from being in a hurry? Hey, John, I have a million and one things going on. Boom, that's what I take here. Then number two, what to, how do I compliment um, John? John, um, you are somebody that I know that is very innovative, very creative, and always strategic in how you go about doing things, right? So boom, you have that known as a compliment by John. But John, I also remember that you told me some time ago that you are seeking an alternative to what you're currently doing. Are you still open? Are you still open, John? You know what I mean? That, that's where everything is. So the more you practice these things, I can tell you, the better you become at it. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. The more you practice these things and work with them, just as though you see them right there. So, yes, believe me, you are going to have some great results in the future. All right? So um, let us just complete stage four. Let me just run to stage four here. And then, of course, we're going to come back at it again next week and have some more examples and stuff and things like that. Well, let us run to stage four so that to give people that opportunity to add stage four to what you have before. So we'll be in the four stages this evening, right? So stage four, if I would you, for the people in network marketing, remember, um, like all of you, ladies and gentlemen, network marketing was never my profession. I have never been to a school for network marketing, right? Never ever walk into a school and say I'm studying network marketing. I am here just like you, and all I have is just the resources that are provided by the people who are earning seven, eight, nine, and in some cases ten figures in the profession. Persons who are making the real money, right? It's their knowledge we are using. So that's what I'm learning from and gleaning, just like you. That's what I'm passing on to you. And Mr. Eric Worry, in his book, would have indicated that, look, he believes that the most profound phrase in network marketing is if I would you. So now you have come, you have um, you know, we met them, you know, you know yourself up there. If I would you, right? So, yes, would. Oh, yes, guys, sorry about that. Uh, my internet just went. I'm not sure what would have caused it, but my internet just um, dipped on me just now. Are you hearing me loud and clear? Using my phone? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? If you're hearing me, just say yes in the chat. All right, great, 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 great. Right, so um, until my, 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 my Wi-Fi returns, let me just say. So um, if I um, would you, very, very profound, very, very powerful, um, in the field of network marketing, as I would have said before. So if I were to invite you to um, a, a business launch, I'm launching my business, you're telling the person that you're launching a business, and you're asking them if you were to invite them to the business launch, if they would attend, right? If I, would you, right? Um, tomorrow night, um, being Tuesday night, is a business opportunity presentation. Maybe you want to invite somebody to the opportunity presentation. Right, Wednesday night, um, Thursday night, um, there are two calls. If you want to invite to the calls, no problem. If I were to invite you, 
um, to a business seminar being conducted by a seven-figure earner, um, a former poverty-stricken youngster out of Ghana who now resides in the United States. If I were to invite you to that seminar where we are discussing wealth creation, um, would you attend, right? And it's as simple as that, right? It's a... Please, sir, go ahead and um, and share with us your thoughts. Sorry, hold on. Go ahead, sir, Don Rogers, um, and share your thoughts, sir. Sir Rogers? All right, so he's not ready yet, right? What is that? I'm yeah, man, go ahead, sir. Okay, good evening, good evening to you, sir, and all on this call. My, my apology, I'm on the road walking, so I would have um, lost the internet quite a few times and uh but i recognize that you had unmuted for me that, that's what my phone was saying to say something but i would have lost a lot of the content because i'm i'm on the streets walking but just 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 to re recap uh, from um what i've learned tonight and if i'm out back going back from this morning on that 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 call this morning was uh, an amazing call and you you do this all the time sir uh, so, but the first thing when you spoke to um, taking notes, making notes, making notes, making notes, it reminded me many, many years ago, I was a forensic, uh, fully forensic sergeant, many, many years ago, and I used to walk around the clock. That's why walking is no, that's why I feel good about walking for myself. I, I can do 27 hours a day and it's okay. It's okay because I used to walk 30 hours a day for other people. So, but uh, what I'm going to say about not taking notes, I wanted to get about two or three days leave just to go somewhere. And when I went to one of my supervisors, the superintendent, he said, hey, man, we don't have anything documented. Uh, I said, but you know how it works? He said, I don't know. I don't know one thing. You never documented, never. So that always resonated with me. And then this other superintendent said, you know what? There is no verbal file. So there's no nothing there's no file that's available. Everything must be documented. Fast forward tonight about being in a hurry uh, and um, con not uh, which uh, being in a hurry and um, and uh, yes, yes, uh, prospects amazing, amazing, and that's something I, I just just love to do. And you alluded to that. It, it's so easy. I, I walk inside the supermarket just a while ago, and I wanted to get some attention. <laughs> Nobody looking at me. So I said to the lady in front of me, can you kind of pay for my product? <laughs> and the whole place cracked up. So I had the attention of everybody. And then people started listening to what I'm listening to. So, um, but, so Christopher Lyon Thomas, I really want to say how oh, I appreciate you, sir. And it's so important for us to get on every call. Every, is it humanly impossible? Yes. But, uh, so I really appreciate you and all the nuggets and everything that you bring. The training and presentation have have done me so well and will continue. In fact, and I said that on a presentation call before, I was invited to a call, the first call ever in this company, you were the presentation, presenter, and the rest is history. It was over, all over. So thank you very much for allowing me uh, this time and uh, my fellow affiliates, uh, let's Let's keep on pushing. Let's keep on pushing. 2023, let's keep on pushing. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Blessings to you, sir, Rogers. I hope that, um, you know, those people in the supermarket, you would have at least sold a product or you would have a new affiliate coming out of that conversation. Actually, I got some numbers. I got contacts. So I started to create relationships. So I'll do that. Yes, product will be sold in the next couple of days, this very week. You're building your list, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing. All right? Very well, sir. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, those four steps, like I said, it's not rocket science, right? It's, it's no rocket science. It's nothing for you to, to think that, yo, you know what? I can't do this. Um, this is beyond me. No. Just as you have the scripts there. Right? All you need to do is just to write out a sentence. Right? So, number one, 
what would I like to choose from the section that says be in a hurry? Are you right at all? Hmm? Number two, in complimenting somebody, there are so many um, um, different phrases there that you can use to make a compliment. So you choose the one that would fit the, the, the be in a hurry sentence that you started. Number three, you now move to the segment where you're going to make the invitation. Which of these invitation phrases or sentence would I like to add to this process? And then finally, all of them comes down to if I would you, right? If I would you, and you add that there, you'd leave it just as simple as that. Keep it as simple, and you practice them daily. You practice them daily. Can I tell you, you can use them for your for product sales, you can use them to invite people to your business launch, you can use them to invite people to your business opportunity presentation. Don't try to reinvent the wheel, don't try to um, pr pr um, project yourself as an expert, unless it's on the products that you're going to be an expert on. But when it comes on to business, people never, with the person who is making the invitation, People not normally listen to you about business, right? They want to listen to somebody else that is either making. Um, I remember. Let me share a story with you. Um, I remember when um, Mr. Mark Stewart, the story of Mr. Mark Stewart joined Vida de Vida. One of my um, business partners um, told me. She said, "Chris, listen, my my right leg is booming." But I have nobody on my left leg that is, um, you know, substantive. And I say, okay, listen, there's somebody that I'm trying to reach out to, um, but I haven't gotten to them yet. Tell you what, if you get this person, I'll let you sign them, right? So I gave her a bottle of Mars, and I gave her a, a, a single sachet of tea. I said, go over to um, Prophet Max to a church and give this to him. And she did that. And when she gave the gentleman the stuff, Prophet Mark Stewart called and said, hey, listen, man, I used the thing, man, last week, and man, let me tell you something. Hey, where you put that Mars, man? Where you that tea you have to the bathroom, so? And that was the conversation. And when Prophet Mark Stewart now decided that he wanted to know more about the business, you know what I did? I said, look here, my little incoming Vida de Vina cannot captivate Prophet Mark Stewart. He needs to hear from somebody that is earning a lot more. So what did I do? I turned him over to Mr. Albert Jackie, and it was sealed and done right on spot, right? So the truth of the matter is, my, my little, me making the invitation, and try at the same time to close the person it may not always work. And that is what the experts have said. Not me. I'm not, I'm not an expert. I'm just learning like you. That is what the experts have said. And if we can just apply that, then can I tell you? The rest is history. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, um, let me see a commitment from those of us now who are going to know, um, step forward in practicing these things. Let me see a commitment um, from those of you who are going to know the practicing, very important, to practice these steps. Let me see a commitment. Let me have a commitment. I was in school. I've always said this on the call. There was a group. I'm coming to you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask it. I'm gonna unmute you, Lady Gloria. There was a group in my in a class that I had. We call it the Ministry of Laziness. There, there were those people never just used to the schoolwork. And I'm I'm sure many times here I would have told you the story of one of the most attractive of the ladies. One day I was on my way to pick up some products, and the person opening the gate was this young lady. And when I saw her, I could not believe it. She was still looking good. In fact, she was smelling good as well. But when I spoke with her, she had five children, right? And I remember when the person, when we were in class, and how they used to, how they used to belittle the teacher, how they used to, you know, just be out of it, and you know, the dance hall and the bold and beautiful and the young and the restless and that type of thing. That was their thing, right? And now. Um, 
they're out there just boxing bread out of, you know, dog mouth, as they would say, because for them, school was not important. I'm saying to us, we have an opportunity that is unlike any, right? And the thing to do here this evening is to, if you really want to take your business to the next level, you have a list of 250 people, you must get them 250 people that either on a launch call or you must get them at a, at a business opportunity presentation. And the way to do it is what we just taught you a while ago. All right? That's what we just taught you a while ago. We said to you that the way to do it is to utilize this particular method. Right? It's not something that I created. I will, I'm not that good to create this. This is coming from the experts. And one of the men that this is coming from is the man himself, the GoPro specialist, Mr. Eric Worley. Right? So please, just... Just utilize the things and, and, and let's go, all right? So, Lady Gloria, you want to raise your hand, and I'm not going to let the evening pass, and you don't get to say your piece. Please, Lady Gloria, unmute your mic, ma'am, and say your piece. Lady Gloria, go ahead. All right. Good night, everyone. I um, it's a, Although the meeting is almost ended, but I just want to share this little script that I wrote. Yes. I, um, I have, hello, Stacey, how are you doing? It's been a while I haven't seen you. However, I'm glad to pass this way today. I know you are very business-oriented, and I have launched a new business, and I would like to invite you to my business presentation. Will you be available about 8 p.m. tonight? I would appreciate your feedback. Can I have your number? I'm running late. I have an appointment. All right. So, Lady Gloria, ladies and gentlemen, as take has elevated the thing to step six, seven, and eight. That's what she has done. She has gone beyond what we have, you know, requested of her, which is a good thing. What Lady Gloria is saying is that look, she is practicing. Um, she is aware of the other steps and she's utilizing them, which is a good thing. So put your hands together for Lady Gloria. Put some sevens in the chat for her because, of course, you know, she's practicing, and and the willingness to come here is not an easy thing, because as we have seen. A lot of people didn't show up this evening to um, to participate because maybe you don't have the time, maybe you're in a meeting, maybe you're sleeping, maybe your kids, you're in a kids' homework and still participating. But yes, man, um, thank you, Lady Gloria. So that's what I want, ladies and gentlemen, um, for you to do. However, Lady Gloria, remember the first segment, you are in a hurry. Always don't leave that out, that first segment out, because I never heard that part, right? So step one was um, excluded from the from the um from the, the the conversation right so ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters friends and family affiliates of the vida Levina family the most successful people in jamaica over the next 10 15 years will be the vida affiliates in jamaica mark my word the most successful people in jamaica over the next 10 15 years will be the vida the vida affiliates and i believe that it all of my heart with every single particle with every single sinew in my body yes we're going to help teachers to continue to build their houses we're going to help police officers to see the better way we're going to help nurses to see the better way we're going to help also help us to see the better better way we're going to help we're going to help office help us to see the better way we're going to help people who can't read nor write to see the better way because all you need is the ambition to execute, to implement, and to take this thing to the next level. And let me tell you, there are some people in this business right now that have some momentum going for them. And I can tell you, all I can see them doing, yes, is being, is being, is being elevated on a chair somewhere, whether in, in California or here in Jamaica at an event, and being escorted to the stage as a diamond. That is what I am seeing right now, based on the attitude and the mindset of people. I say to people all the time, I am never interested in somebody who is leaving. Don't tell me about who left the business. I'm not interested in that person. What I'm interested in is who they are. <laughs> yeah, that is me. We're just interested in who is here. You are here. Are you willing to work? Come, look, go work. Because listen, whether you work or not, Christopher Dwight Thomas knows nothing else but hard work. I don't know anything else, so I am going to work. <laughs> so if you want to get some of the money, let's work together, man. But I am going for it. All right? So listen, thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow morning at just about 
7.30 Jamaica time, 8.30 Eastern time, when Lady Aisha Queen will be at the mic. She's going to have something very special for us um, tomorrow morning. And of course, um, in the evening, it's a business opportunity presentation. It's an opportunity for you to invite as many people as possible. And then, of course, Wednesday, business opportunity presentation again, morning huddle. Thursday, morning huddle. And, of course, business opportunity presentation. Um, there, there are two presentations on Thursday. One is at 7. One is going to be at, oh, yeah, one is at 7, one is at 8. All right? So, yes, let us look towards those. All right, guys? So have yourself a great night. God bless you all, and thank you very much for coming here. When we get back here on Monday, we're going to come back to the same thing because we are going to get it right, and we are going to be um, experts at inviting people to look at our opportunities. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you at the top because we know that the bottom is really, really overcrowded. Bye-bye.